Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. In this video I would like to talk to you about my Samsung DeX setup. So let's begin. So let's start by talking right hand side of the table. Uh, first of all this white desk is IKEA height adjustable desk. This was my office desk and obviously when I moved to work from home I took the desk with me. I will try to find it on IKEA website and leave a link in the description below for you to go and check it out. I'm not sure if they're actually still selling it but I'll, I'll, I'll try to find it and leave a link in the description below. Right, next is a NextDoc 2 uh, lab dock. I have permanently connected to a charging port. It's constantly receiving power and I mean constantly making sure that it's charged. I keep the short USB-C to USB-C cable close by just in case if I want to take the NextDoc 2, I know the cable is next to me. And when, for example, I need additional desk, decks, Samsung decks for some reason, I can obviously plug in here and connect the Note 9 if I need to. Uh, two Xbox One uh, Bluetooth controllers. The white one is for Galaxy Tab A6 and the right one is for Note 9. So then obviously the, the black Xbox One controller has this shadow foam mount if I want to plug in my Note 9 for some reason and do a bit of gaming, let's say on Stadia or something like that, I can obviously go and, and do a bit of gaming. That's not a problem. Let's actually unplug that. Um, another thing on the right hand side you will see is a Google Home Mini smart speaker. This is, uh, uh, I named the speaker right speaker and there is the same one on the left side of the table. I named it the left speaker and they both are paired and they're acting as single speaker. So I can, I, when I'm listening to music, let's say on Spotify, they basically represent the right channel and the left channel. And I do have a microphones, a microphone option turned off on the speaker. So that's why I have a red LED lights. The same are on the left hand side of the speaker. I just turned the mics off because I don't want these speakers to get triggered by the Google magic word. So they are permanently mics off and they've been used as more as a, as a music, music output. And uh, they have the Bluetooth feature turned on inside the Google Home app. The, the Google Home app allows you to make the smart speakers be a Bluetooth compatible. So it means that, let's say I can connect, uh, I can connect any device via Bluetooth to these two speakers and play music over them. So that's how I have my main DeX audio output to these speakers via Bluetooth. Not ideal, sometimes uh, losing connection, but it's it works for me and uh, that's fine. Um, next thing here is the Shadow PC uh, mouse mat. And I use the Logitech MX Master a wireless mouse for with my DeX and I do have Logitech K380 uh, wireless keyboard with my DeX. It's a great keyboard, it's probably one of the best keyboards you can get for a Samsung DeX but for me for using uh, as for uh, when I'm using DeX for work this I don't know it's just sometimes lacks certain features. I still thinking to switch back to a Microsoft designer keyboard. I'm still sort of debating but basically uh, this is the great keyboard and obviously if you're looking to buy yourself a keyboard for your DeX this is a I would say first option for you to consider to buying in, in buying it because it's great uh, the keys very soft very comfortable to press and the battery life is amazing next thing let's go to the left side of the table just before talking what's on the left side of the table in the center of the desk this is a 34 inches ultra wide Samsung monitor and I'm using this with my DeX I have I'm getting the full 3440 by 1440 so 3440 by 1440p resolution this is a maximum DeX resolution that currently is available and I'm getting all pixels out of it and it's very perfect well I, it's a perfect monitor for me because I can have two full-size apps or programs having uh, running side by side and uh, multitasking is amazing on this monitor I do have the uh, as I like to call it the solid uh, monitor mount which is not suitable for this monitor according to a spec sheet uh, it's only up to um, 32 inches or 27 inches monitors but as you can see it's perfectly holds my 34 inches monitor I used a different monitor mount before which I'll show you in a second but it was flimsy the monitor was keep wobbling around so uh, one of the Samsung DeX uh, members posted his setup and he used exactly the same arm so I quickly asked him which link he or which uh, he's using can he share a link with me and then literally order straight away on from Amazon and I'm really happy about this monitor um, it's it's like it does a bit wobble but not as much as it used to with my previous mount 
Next one is here is the UTEC a wireless uh, charger, wireless charging pad. I keep it here when I want to charge my Note 9 or my office office uh, work phone. So I can use this and the charge phone uh, wirelessly. It's not a fast charge or anything like that, but it's plenty, gives plenty of juice for me to top it up my phone battery if I need to. Next thing uh, I do have here is the Galaxy Tab S6 powering my Samsung DeX. And I had just recently received from Amazon this uh, table, uh, the tablet stand, which I am uh, ordered because I want my tablet to be in a vertical position just because when I need to make a calls on Zoom or Skype or anything like that, the tablet camera always showing me in the horizontal way. And obviously the while you're using DeX and you're making calls and the way the device is orientated, that's how the camera will be outputting the video to everyone who's basically on the call with you. I didn't like that, that previously I was using this, the Samsung basic tablet stand, and obviously the tablet always had to be in a horizontal way. So I ordered this stand. It's, it's okay, the stand is perfect. It holds my tablet perfectly. It's just I'm thinking into replacing the actual cable because the cable is a bit heavy duty one and it bends uh, to connect to it Galaxy Tab S6 and it can make a bit of the, um, well, it's, it has a bit of tension here on the cable. So I'm afraid to damaging the connection Cable doesn't really if I'm gonna damage or not, but I'm afraid to damage the Galaxy Tab S6 USB-C connection. So I'm thinking into replacing it with maybe 90, 90 degrees angle adapter or something like that, just to make sure that I'm not gonna damage the, 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 the actual connection. Next thing on the left, I do have the WiMAX portable monitor, which is permanently uh, mounted, well, permanently mounted. What I mean is mounted to the this uh, monitor mount. This is the monitor mount that I used before with my 34 inches monitor. And that's the one was wobbling like hell because it's designed only to go up to 27 inches monitors. And obviously 34 inch monitor, which weighs a bit more than a 27 one. This wasn't really great. So it was going all over the place. And I, I was afraid that it's gonna just snap by here because was getting this part of the mount was getting so much tension and stress just because that monitor was so heavy and mounted on this, let's see, flimsy monitor mount. But right now we max it, which is weighs literally nothing, mounted this far arm and it's perfect uh, because um, we max it has a Vesa Visa, what's his name, uh, mount holes. I'm using that to mount it onto this uh, arm. The screws, uh, the only one screws I had is, was the longest ones, basically these. Uh, so <laughs> my DIY thing is just to put a lot of bolts uh, nuts, sorry, a lot of nuts between the, the this amount and the monitor. So I have three on each screw and they are basically right now mounting this monitor. Uh, the monitor is so light that uh, if I go down and by the way, monitor arm, the actual arm is being loosened to be compatible with the, 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 the smallest monitor. But still, if I'm going to go up just a bit at a certain position, the monitor will shoot up, which I don't really like. So I'm thinking to putting something heavy, like a weight here. Next thing, uh, obviously I have the USB-C cable going all the way to the PC, Windows machine for power and uh, re and re reporting back the touch screens because we max it as a touch screen monitor. So I can obviously uh, use it with, the, with my fingers and I turn the Windows 10 into a tablet mode. So then when I type, I get the keyboard popping up so I can do like this and say, for example, Reddit, uh, going to Reddit, opening up Reddit, having a quick look what's on Reddit. Let's quickly, uh, let's open, for example, this post. Having a look on this post, zoom in and out, jump back and forward, go to Spotify. Let's see what I want to listen on Spotify. Let's go to back here. I'm listening right now to Chilled Cow Music. So, okay, check the, the chat. So it's very great for me to quickly have a look. Sometimes I do have the note, sticky notes uh, feature, Windows 10 feature running on here if I want to do some bits uh, and just record some notes or something like that. Pretty much that's what it is with WiMAX it monitor. Another things on the left that you probably not seen yet, hiding outside the camera is these two things. Let me actually move the camera slightly up. So um, this is the, um, the ooh, noises. This is the cheapy uh, tablet mount that I ordered quite a while ago. And I, I was using this with my Snowball Yeti, uh, Blue Yeti mic. So Blue Yeti mic was attached to this in my first videos on YouTube. 
And since then, obviously, my mics got upgraded. I'm using right now Rode wireless one. So this is right now used to mount my DJI Osmo action camera to record the videos, to record my face and everything else. So right now, because I'm using the camera, uh, it's not, I took it off, but usually it's mounted here. On the top, then I'm mounting the, the LED ring, which is this one. So on the top, is usually LED ring goes on the top. And I have a bunch of cables here, and each cable is uh, here with a purpose. So these two are to constantly charge my Rode wireless mics, a receiver and transmitter, and this one is supply power to a DJI Osmo action camera. And same time, I'm using this cable to extract videos off the camera. And I'll show you how all this connected when we're gonna go underneath the table. But, and here we go, and then I have a cable tied, the, all the cables, and uh, I have a button here which turns on and on LED light with no problems. At the top there, is another LED uh, which I ordered from Amazon and it's again permanently connected to a power supply. Uh, this LED runs on the battery but I just constantly keep having this connected just to make sure that it's always powered. So if I press and hold, you go light goes on and off. And it's mounted on the selfie stick which is cable tied to a microphone stand. It's obviously off the camera so it can be look as rough as, 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 as it needs to be. Uh, because, well, it does the job and uh, I don't really, really worried about all the cables all over the place there. Because I'm using the uh, Windows machine, and I, the reason why I'm using Windows machine is because certain app programs that I need to use for my work only available on Windows, uh, on Windows software. Uh, when I don't need to use it, as I showed you before, I'm using it, the Windows machine for the music. That's what, and I need, obviously, the sound. This is the elegant, elegant uh, soundbar connected by a USB type B cable to Windows 10 machine. It's receiving power and at the same time audio. So I can listen to music and same time obviously do my work on decks. Uh, Microsoft designed a keyboard and a mouse Bluetooth paired with Windows machine, which is there. And I'm using it to obviously do all the bits and what I need on, on here. So next thing, let's go underneath the desk and I'll show you how all the cables are connected there. So this is underneath the desk. So let me move the camera a bit this angle. So as you can see, there's a lot of cables mess basically here, but it's outside the, basically I can't see that. It's outside my, uh, no one, well, it's underneath the table. It's out of the eye, so out of the mind and nothing gonna be uh, visible for anyone else to see. Uh, right, so let's quickly go through what's, what the hell is here. This is the, uh, like I said, the um, IKEA table and the, the, this table has this neat, like a sack here where you can store the cable. So I have 10 port, 10 connections, uh, power extension cable, which is basically, uh, I have the table mechanism to, for these legs to go up and down connected to this. These two are, the um, my, uh, Google Home smart speakers, mini left and mini right. Uh, there is obviously the connection for the 10 port USB hub. I'll explain to you why I'm using this in a second. Then there is obviously the power for DeX hub, the power for monitor, and pretty much everything is powered from here. And everything is connected to one wall socket. And wall socket, I have the, uh, the smart plug connected to it. So if I want to, with the magic words, I can shut down my deck setup completely. Just saying something like, uh, turn deck station off and everything what is connected here will go off, except this white extension cable, because this one is used just for Windows machine and certain other bits connected here, but pretty much my deck station is controlled with one plug. And if I want to, like I said, using the magic word, I can completely turn it off. So next thing here, what we see um, is a 10 ports powered USB hub, which I cable tied again. You think uh, I'm a bit obsessed with the cable ties, permanently cable tied to this, uh, to the desk. And I'm using this because I need to connect a lot of USB things to my decks or supply power by USB. So the, Samsung, Samsung DeX hub, the USB-C hub that I'm using, I'm connected to, I think, 60 watt uh, wall socket, but it's still not giving enough power via USB ports out. If I will connect all these things to the USB-C port hub that I'm using with DeX, the DeX will start restarting because not enough power has been supplied to Tab S6 to kick this DeX in. So I need to use this to get the, basically, uh, 
uh, eliminate the USB C hub of being a flaky and having a DEX permanently running. And at the same time, I have a, another four USB here to connect, let's say something like, I don't know, the USB C steering wheel, I can connect it here, or external hard drive or something like that. And I connect, and I know that our DEX will still work because this USB hub is getting power from a wall instead of pass through through a USB C hub. There's a couple of here, a couple of you things already connected. The two black ones here um, on, from the left are the LED lights. The white one supplies to another three point USB hub, which I will show in a second. And that is supplying power to Rode wireless transmitter and receiver and DJI Osmo action camera. And that's how I can connect this USB-C cable to DJI Osmo action camera and charge at the same time. The data goes all the way through here into a DEX and I can export the videos out that way. And this the, the black cable on the right is the wireless, I think it's called Bowmega. Let me quickly check. Uh, Bowmaker wireless earbuds. And they're so light, so I leave them, them here. When I'm done charging, I just unplug and go away and use them. When I need to charge, I plug it in and I, they basically weighs nothing so they can tangle here with no problem. The white thing here, uh, let me quickly move the camera a bit. So the white thing here um, is four ports uh, power extension. The bottom one is for Windows 10 machine. So right now it's on. And these two, these three, just when I use when I need them, uh, this is the uh, obviously the battery charger if I need to charge the chargeable rechargeable batteries for let's say for keyboard or mouse Sorry, mouse don't need the battery. So let's say for Xbox one controllers the keyboard something else I have them here so I can turn it on I uh, get them charged and when they're done turn it off and then these two this one is I'm um, right now have the my, Samsung fast charge wall plug because I'm planning to test the one of the USB-C hubs that I just received if I want to check it out um uh, make sure you subscribe and this video of testing this and making sure that everything works with DEX the video will come out shortly and this is the a two port USB 3 um, test charging plug again if I need to plug in something I can quickly plug in here and I use it with no problems at all and pretty much that's it this side so next let's go uh, up from a other side I'll show you what's there so on this side uh, like I said that's the three ports USB USB hub, which has the free cables for Rode wireless receiver transmitter and the DJI Osmo action camera. Then uh, uh, everything else here, as you can see, is all over the place and mounted, but um, it's outside the camera when I'm recording, so it can be as messy as I, as I want to, and I might need to tidy it up a bit. Very useful, this one is here because I have an Ethernet port here on this side, so I can connect Ethernet port and wired, have a wired connection, but my five gigahertz Wi-Fi signal is quite decent here, and I'm probably not gonna use it, but it's nice to have it just in case if a Wi-Fi signal, let's say, becomes lost or weak, I can obviously connect the wired connection. Now, let me show you where my USB-C hub for DEX is located. So we're underneath a table and that's where my USB-C hub for DEX is located. This USB-C hub that I'm using is probably one of the best ones I ever owned. Slightly actually it became a bit flaky because this headphone jack is things that is always connected or something is always connected to it. So DEX is always things that the headphones is connected and audio outputs always being defaulted to uh, headphones, which is not ideal, but uh, I'm trying to figure out what the hell is happening and trying to fix it. The place why I chose this here is because I just wanted to be off the table just to make the top of the table to be as neat and clean set up as possible. So that's why most of the things is underneath the desk, all connected here and mounted. And very funny thing about having this connected here, it gets warm. It gets actually sometimes quite warm, but because it's cable tied, and obviously I'm a bit obsessed with the cable ties. I have uh, quite a few of them here. And because it's the cable tied to this metal arm. Metal arm actually is acting more like a heat sink now because, well, it's much, much warmer where my finger is now, here. And as far as the, the further will go from this USB hub, that this metal bar, it becomes colder. So it acts more like a heat sink, which is, I don't know, it might be silly thought to think about, but that's what it is. And obviously the power goes the power for USB-C hub and HDMI cable goes all the way here and up the desk and that's past the arm and goes to a monitor. And this cable is my extension USB-C cable to connect my, my Galaxy Tab S6 
here. And like I said, this hub works perfectly, but if I'm gonna start connecting all my USB stuff to it, to it uh, it's gonna start losing the power and DEX becomes flaky. That's why I am using USB 10 port uh, thing here, just to basically act like a USB-C hub, which that's what it is, but it's powered and obviously it's less, less power is being drawn from the USB hub and making sure that the DEX, DEX Samsung DEX is constantly working. And I think pretty much that's what it is. My Samsung DEX setup is overkill, I would say, but it works for me. Some of the things I might change, but I'm quite happy the way I set everything up. Everything is very close to where I sit. Everything is close to me. And I need, if I need something, and obviously I can go and pick it up and, and just take it and use it and, and pretty much that's it. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, don't forget, click like and subscribe. We are on Samsung DeX subreddit group. Go and join the DeX community. And if you have amazing Samsung DeX setup, don't forget to post your Samsung DeX setup picture of your Samsung DeX into a Samsung DeX subreddit group. Don't forget to use a post flare called my setup. That's it, that's my Samsung DeX. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.